Enter Macduff's wife, her son, and Ross. What had he done to make him fly the land? You must have patience, madame. He had none. His flight was madness. When our actions do not, our fears do make us traitors. You know not whether it was his wisdom or his fear. Wisdom, to leave his wife, to leave his babes, his mansion and his titles in a place, from whence himself does fly. He loves us not. He wants the natural touch for the poor wren. The most diminutive of birds will flight, her young ones in her nest, against the owl. All is the fear and nothing is the love. As little is the wisdom where the flight. So run against all reason. My dearest cause, I pray you, school yourself, but for your husband. He is noble, wise, judicious, and, no and best knows the fits of thy seasons. I dare not speak much further, but cruel are the times when we are traitors and do not know ourselves, when we hold rumor from what we fear, yet know not what we fear, but float upon a wild and violent sea, each way and move, I take my leave of you. Shall not be long, but I'll be here again. Things at the worst will cease. Fathered he is, and yet he's fatherless. I am so much a fool. Should I stay longer, it would be my disgrace and your discomfort. I take my leave at once. Exit, Ross. Sarah, your father's dead. And what will you do now? How will you live? As birds do, mother. What? With worms and flies? With what I get, I mean, and so do they. Poor bird, thou'st never fear the net nor lime. The pitfall nor the gin. Why should I, mother? Poor birds they are not set for. My father is not dead, for all you're saying. Yes, he is dead. How wilt thou do for a father? Nay, how will you do for a husband? Why, I can buy me twenty at any market. Then you'll buy him to sell again. Thou speakest with all thy wit, and yet I faith, with wit enough for thee. Was my father a traitor, mother? Ay, that he was. What is a traitor? Why, one that swears and lies. And to all be traitors that do so? Everyone that does so is a traitor, and must be hanged. And must they all be hanged that swear and lie? Every one. Who must hang them? Why, the honest men. Then the liars and swearers are the fools, for there are liars and swearers and know to beat the honest men and hang up them. Now, God help thee, poor monkey, but how wilt thou do for a father? If he were dead, you'd weep for him. If you would not, it were a good sign that I should quickly have a new father. Poor Prattler. How thou talkest. Enter a messenger. Bless you, fair dame, I am not to you known, though in your state of honor I am perfect. I doubt some danger does approach you nearly. If you will take a homely man's advice, be not found here, hence with your little ones. To fright you thus, methinks I am too savage. To do worse to you were fell cruelty, which is too nigh your person. Heaven preserve you, I dare abide no longer. Exit messenger. Whither should I fly? I have done no harm. But I remember now, I am in this earthly world, where to do harm is often laudable, to do good sometime accounted dangerous folly. Why then, alas, do I put up that womanly defense, to say I have done no harm? What are these faces? Enter murderers. Where is your husband? I hope in no place so unsanctified, where such as thou mayst find him. He's a traitor. Thou list thou shaggered villain. What you, egg, stabbing him, young fry of treachery. He has killed me, mother. Run away, I pray you. Dies. Exit Lady Macduff crying. Murder! Followed by murderers.